To create a OneNote class notebook for your class, please go ahead and navigate to your Office 365 landing page. You may see a view that looks like this or you have your apps listed, or you may see them in a vertical column. I'd like you to go ahead and find the class notebook application. If you do not see it, if you click on all apps, they'll be listed alphabetically and you'll find class notebook there. Please click on class notebook and give it just a moment to load. From class notebook, the landing page, you're going to go ahead and create a class notebook. This next template will guide you through the remainder of creating your class notebook. Initially, you're going to go ahead and re-add the name of your class and then click Next. As you notice, you've got seven numbered items. This will walk you through each of those steps. You must fill out the appropriate fields before you can click Next. The default settings inside of what a notebook give you a collaboration space where students and teachers can work together, a content library, which is where you can publish course materials out to students, and finally, your individual student notebooks. The teacher has editing privilege in all three of these sections. Students can edit in the collaboration space. Students can only view the content. If you put up links, data, um, videos, things like that, they can only view the content. Students can edit his or her own workbook, uh, notebook page. They cannot view others. So you do have some privacy there for students. You do have the ability to add another teacher to your notebook. If you are in a co-teach environment, it's a great idea to go ahead and add that, or you can even add all the members of your grade level in your building separated by a semicolon. Add student names. The student names, very simply, you go ahead and add them in. So I'm adding test student, who is a default test student for us. Click Next. The default sections in a notebook include handouts, class notes, homework, and quizzes. You can add sections at your leisure, or if there's something you know you won't use, for example, quizzes, you can simply remove that section. Click Next, and you will get a thumbnail preview of what the teacher's notebook look like, looks like. You've got your notebook and your dividers, a welcome screen, collaboration space, content library, and the one student. If you had multiple students added, you would see each of their names listed here. You can also view what the student's notebook will look like. They'll see the same welcome screen, the collaboration space, content library, and in each student, they will see handouts, class notes, and homework. When you're happy with all of that, simply click Create. It will take a few moments for that to set up. And now you're set. From this main page, when you open your notebook, you have numerous options, including distributing pages, distributing new sections, copying content to the library, reviewing student work, creating another class notebook, and most importantly, adding and removing students, adding and removing teachers, or managing the notebook in general. Note that the same things that you saw in the setup page are in the real notebook with the collaboration space, the content library, and the test student. There are multiple links inside this document which will help guide you in the next steps. You'll have welcome notes, FAQs, and trying out a staff notebook. Focus on the FAQs. 
you will also be receiving additional documentation for how to actually use this resource for students. If you have questions, refer back to this video. It should walk you through everything without issue.